Today we're going to talk about direct variation and inverse variation. These are two concepts that you need to be able to identify when it comes to the final test that you have to take this year. First off, there's direct variation, which they write the basic equations like this, y equals kx. Well, if you've been talking in your Algebra 1 class, you've probably gotten to y equals mx plus b. This is the same thing. K just means it's a constant. It's a number that's going to be multiplied by x. All this is is an equation that has a slope, like y is equal to 8x, where you make $8 per hour, and this is the number of dollars that you make. Or it could be y is equal to 1 half x. y is equal to 0.37x. doesn't matter what it is, as long as k is a number, that's, that means that y is in direct variation with x. As x increases, y will also increase. If this is a negative number, like negative 2x, then as x increases, y will decrease. But this will be a straight line when you graph it. It will make a linear graph that either goes up if it's positive or down if it's a negative number. Inverse variation is represented by xy equals k. k is, again, a constant. But this means x times y is going to equal this. So in order to solve this where you can graph it on a calculator, this means it's going to look like y is equal to k over x. This is more of a real-world situation where you and your friends go out on Halloween, you go trick-or-treating, and you get 100 candy bars. If you get 100 candy bars, then it's going to depend on how many friends you have with you if you split them up evenly that you will get. So in this, y varies inversely with x. As x gets bigger, you have to split up this 100 candy bars by more and more people, so each of you gets fewer. If there's just one person, you got 100 candy bars, hey, you got 100 candy bars. If there's two people, you split it in half, it's 50. If there's three people, everybody gets 33, and you can split up that last Snickers into thirds and hand that out. Or if there's four people, each of you will get 25. So the graph on this one, at least in quadrant one over here where you have the positive, is going to come down from very high up and then curve out and get closer and closer to zero without ever getting to zero. Now, if you graph this on the graphing calculator, it will graph the other half of it, but that's not necessary for our real-world situation. So keep in mind that the inverse variations make a graph that look like this, and it's something that has to be divided by x, a number that has to be divided by x. The direct variation, it's going to be a straight line, and it's a number that's going to be multiplied by x.